Hello and welcome back my beautiful Froggy Army to another video. We are back at it with another Animal Crossing video. Oh, hello Tad. He's just lurking. Okay, yeah. You know what? It is not a Froggy Crossing video without someone interrupting my intro. Oh my goodness, he's just creeping back there. It's like he secretly wants to be a part of this video, but like he's too shy to just like fully interrupt, you know? So he's just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm casually walking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Casually walking. Uh-huh. Anyways, if you've been keeping up with the Frogata saga, you know that we have been villager hunting for Lily. It took nine whole months to find her, but we finally found her. And that was my biggest excuse for not really like working on this island too, too much. Because, you know, I always had an open plot. So I was like, ah, I can't time travel. I can't move buildings. I can't do stuff. Wah. But now I don't, I don't have that excuse anymore. So it is time to get back on track. I'm planning to just kind of play Animal Crossing for the rest of the night. So hopefully we'll We'll make a lot of good progress. My inventory is full, of course, so we're just gonna start out by emptying that. Last night, I went and grabbed a whole bunch of items for today, so we should be stocked and ready to go. One of my biggest setbacks whenever I'm trying to build something is like going and grabbing items. That always just sets me back so much because like, I don't wanna stop what I'm doing to like go grab stuff, unless it's just right from my storage, you know, but like, it always just annoys me. <laughs> but anyways, the front of my plaza is decorated. As you can see, we've got this little like Miami inspired little strip here we've even got the skyscraper in the back all that good stuff and this is all cute love it love it but the back of the plaza is naked it is lacking something so i definitely want to add something back here i was thinking uh i kind of want to put a hotel since we are making a florida island people are vacationing here they need a hotel and this is like the city area so i feel like this would be a good spot and i think it would look really cool behind the plaza so that's kind of the plan for that uh, these little cliff areas right here to the left of the plaza, they need some items on them. I have been forgetting to do that for a while now. That's just classic me forgetting to do things for literal months at a time. It's a problem. It's a problem. When I was decorating the museum, I moved this house over here. I think this is Sally's house right now. Yeah. And she's obviously not staying on this island. Oh, I don't think she heard me. Uh, she's obviously not staying on this island. I'm sorry, but I'm not keeping any of these orange villagers, except for Tangy on this island and Audie. So, okay, two orange villagers, but that's it, I swear. So this will be somebody else's house, not Sally's house, even though I like the exterior of her house. It's really cute. But anyways, all that rambling to say, uh, they don't really have that much yard space over here. I'm kind of like just cramming in houses wherever they fit. So I figured we could utilize this rock over here right next to the house, you know, at least, at least put something over here. And uh, I was thinking we could try to squeeze a restaurant on here. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll try our best. And of course it's gonna be a seafood restaurant. I mean, I mean, it's on the beach and we're in a Florida island. It's it's gonna be seafood. And then finally, I th why are two frogs on this empty cliff? There's literally nothing up there. Hold on. Like there's nothing here. There's what are you guys doing here? <laughs> What's going on? Anyways, this cliff is completely empty because I'm gonna tear this down and I'm gonna put some houses where this is right now. I was thinking Lily's and Tad's house could go here. I wanna give them a joint yard and I wanna put a lily pad pond like in the middle of it or something or somewhere. I don't know, a lily pad pond needs to be in this equation. I don't care where. Do I even know how to do equations? No, but it's gonna be in the equation, okay? So maybe that's what I'll start with. Let's just get like the mundane stuff stuff out of the way even though I really want to do the hotel right now but I know that's kind of like a bigger project so let's start off with some smaller things and we'll work our way up to the hotel because I think that's going to be the majority of my time today focus on the hotel because I also want to put a pool behind it uh so that's going to be almost like a second build really I just need to use my beautiful wonderful pool custom design codes that I have like I need to put as many pools as possible <laughs> on this island we're making good progress on destroying these cliffs here, but I'm just like dying because I'm making this cliff smaller and smaller and just like trapping them on it and they won't get down. <laughs> I'm just dying over here. They will not get off. Like there's an incline. You guys can leave, but they're just here for some reason. <laughs> guys, guys, I need to destroy this cliff. Like, please. I'm going to make it even smaller. Like, please get off of this cliff. I finished clearing up those two little strips there and and they're gone. They're magically just, they disappeared. They're gone. Quick, quick. <laughs> Let's destroy this before they get back on it. All right, there we go. That is all cleaned up. We have so much space now. That feels, 
that feels good that feels good so i'm gonna get rid of this incline and we're going to also build another one because i do have this little lookout area uh up here and this needs a second incline i'm doing two because you can't freaking center it it's so annoying so <laughs> let's go do that really quick i'm trying to think of like the pathing situation right now because we've got that little lookout area and then we're gonna put lily and tad's yard there so i don't really know like what the paths are gonna look like i'll probably just have to like figure it out as i go really but let's put this incline first that'll probably help me figure it out just went ahead and put that down let's quickly pay this off i wish i could destroy the other one in the same day but Alas, we can only do one thing at a time here on this island. But there we go, that's all done. Now, if I'm smart, and that's a big if, I have to time travel anyway to build that, so I should also place down one of the houses. I just don't know where I'm gonna place it. I I really don't know what's, what's going on here. Let me just like run around and brainstorm and it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Okay, I'm taking a quick detour because, you know, Tad walked up this incline and uh, made me remember that I needed to put this little this little ladder here and round off these edges. And uh, yeah, that's that's really all that I wanted to do. I still need to continue that, that path up there all the way back here and put more fencing, but okay, that's for another time. Focus, Raven, focus. Okay, I think I have like half of an idea. Basically, I'm gonna do the pond first and see if that helps me figure out the house placement. So let's work on that really quick. I think I want it to be a little bit lower than the houses instead of like right in between them. That way they have a little bit of yard space in front. I'm just gonna start messing around and see what I can come up with. Okay, this is what we're starting with. I've just got like this little circular pond and i'm gonna try to make this into a lily pad shape i feel like this is a wee bit close to the museum i don't know i might shave off a little bit of this cliff back here although will it really matter no so i have a lily pad shape pulled up right now on the good old google uh i don't really know how to do this honestly i think it's just like a pac-man shape but i just i don't know how to do that uh <laughs> That does not look good. Maybe if I try to extend like the little edges somehow. How does this look? Mmm, even worse. Why is this literally the hardest thing I've ever done? I think I've literally been doing this for like 40 minutes. I can't figure it out. This is where I'm gonna leave it off for now. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. I was trying to do like the little cutout sideways. It wasn't working. I'm trying to do vertical now. It just, this looks really bad. I think it looks a little bit better on the map. Maybe. That's not, that's not even a lily pad. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I, I've been doing this for too long. We have some sort of pond down for reference and that's, that's really all I needed to do. I'm gonna grab Lily or Tad's house. We're gonna move it. And I just did all of that just so I could finally time travel so we can uh, destroy that stupid incline. And then we can finally get to something. I mean, this is productive. This is productive. This is stuff that I've been putting off because I knew this was going to be difficult. Like figuring out where these houses go, destroying all the cliffs and figuring out the lily pad ponds. I've been putting it off. So it's good that we do this now. I think we can fit it here. I think it's perfectly fine. Yeah, something like that. We'll do this. We'll do this. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and time travel. Finally, we are back. The inclines are looking good. This is looking real nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And now our next mission, I have Tad's uh, yard. No, Tad's kit, whatever. His house is in my pockets. But we're going to align him here with lilies. Now I got to make this perfectly symmetrical. I really do. I really do. So I think I'm going to... Uh, use some little custom designs to help me figure out the spacing of everything. I'll use a good frock right here. Okay, I think this is the exact spot where it needs to go and the cliff. Yeah, the cliff. I literally just put it to be demolished, but I guess let's just time travel and get rid of it. And then we place the house. Okay, we're back. I think this is lined up correctly. I'm hoping that looks correct on the map. I'm just gonna hope that it is, but that's done. That's done. I don't wanna look at this area anymore. I'll be honest. 
I don't. So <laughs> I know it looks really naked right now, but we will decorate that at some point eventually. Let's do the seafood restaurant next, even though that is back in that area, but whatever. It's on the beach. It's different. Let's go ahead and walk on over. We'll go through the museum. Ah, it's so nice. The main colors that I've been using for this island, by the way, have been like red, yellow, orange, and green. So this is like the first blue area that we did, but we're actually going to do another one because the seafood restaurant, I mean, it has to be blue. You know, it, the seafood restaurants are just blue coated because, you know, water. So this is our prime location, our prime spot for this restaurant. We're going to get it all cleaned up. It's a bit of a fixer upper, but you know, she's going to be great. This is my new investment property. It's going to go fantastic. I'm going to start out with some palm trees because that's just how I roll. Can I fit one right here? Yes, I can. Oh, that's so satisfying. I've got this little stall. We've got our little tiki pattern on there looking real cute. And then I also had a little counter table that I wanted to put here. I've got the little cash register so you can check out and I had these little spice racks to be like the little condiments and utensils that you get you know I'm kind of thinking of this as like a little quick service seafood restaurant it's not really like a sit down you know it's kind of the vibe that we're going for you know so we've also got some orders ready to go I've got the little fish and chips and this little like fry up we've got this little spot right here it's desperately calling out to me for a puddle and a fish container Perfect. And then of course we've got the classic, classic menu chalkboard. Now of course this is like a little seaside seafood restaurant. I was thinking, you know, outdoor seating, they need umbrellas. I was wanting to do bistro tables. However, I may have actually miscalculated how small these rocks are, which is kind of an issue. So I don't know how much we can fit here. I can fit one right here and I can fit one right here. And that just completely covers our little, our little ordering station. Hmm, we may have to rethink this. Either I don't do bistro tables or we figure out a different configuration. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hear me out. We pick all of this up and we put it all back down, arrange these trees, and now we successfully have moved the kitchen onto the sand and we can take up all of the rocks for the bistro tables. Is it a plan? Yeah. Is it a good one? I don't really know. Honestly, I probably did all of that just to fit like one more bistro table, but hopefully they will be better arranged this way. Yep, I did all that just to fit one, one more bistro table. Cool, cool. How else can we spice this up? Let's see what else we can fit to make this look less sad. I think that the fish drying rack looks good. Definitely needs a puddle under it though. You can't even see the puddle, but that's okay. I thought this little anchor statue would also be very cute. So we'll include that. And I think we'll throw some shells on the rocks for good measure. I also have this little oil barrel. It's blue. So it's got to go over here in the back of the kitchen. I really want to put some party lights somewhere. So I think I'll try to squeeze them in over here. And that way we kind of walk under them as we're walking through this path. Ooh, that's really cute. <gasps> Yes, I love that. I love that. Let's try some planks. I think something like this. That looks good. And I had the little like palm tree leaves right here, but I think I'm going to replace it. Hmm, do we want to do a frock maybe? I think a frock is good. And yeah, there's this little area. I think it came out really cute. It's kind of an awkwardly shaped area in every single sense. Like all of this, all of this ground everywhere is so awkward. This teensy little path this rock, all of it. What did I do here before? I don't know. When this was leapfrog, what did I do? Anyways, there's that all done. What if I told you that all of this has taken me um, like two and a half hours? <laughs> Would you be surprised? <laughs> I started recording at nine and it is currently 1124 p.m. by the way. If you thought a.m., Honestly, I'm so glad you have that good of an opinion of me, but it's it's never going to be AM. But all right, let's go put all this stuff away and let's work on the hotel next. Oh, wait, do I have a campsite villager? Oh, I didn't even know I had one today. Oh, okay. Well, let's see who this is. Hello. Huh. 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 This feels, um, a little like karma. Just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna leave. Let's never speak of this, please. Anyways, we have quite a bit of cleanup to do, so let's empty this inventory. 
I'll get everything cleaned up and we can proceed. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean up these flowers. I don't wanna do that. I really don't. Speaking of flowers though, I have taken up yet another hobby, you know, as, as one does. I have started gardening. If you watched my uh, thrifting for spring video, I mentioned it very briefly because I got the watering can for it, which was so exciting. Uh, you know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna destroy this random piece of cliff because I am not using this for anything right now. One day I just randomly bought a bag of soil and some seeds from Walmart while I was there. They were just staring me in the face and I was like, eh, why not? And uh, I planted them in old strawberry containers, not really expecting anything. I kept watering them. And when they started to sprout, oh, the, the joy that I got when they started to sprout, I was like, oh, okay, so we're doing this. So we're committing now. So I basically have children now. They are my plants. They're doing so great, at least so far, they're doing okay. So I only picked up four different types of seeds. I picked up bell peppers, arugula, and two types of flowers, which I don't know their names. Where I'm at right now is like putting soil in a container and putting seeds in there. So now I have this little routine where I wake up and I immediately go outside and, and check on everything. Oh, and my bell peppers sprouted the other day. Finally, they took the longest and uh, now they're, they're growing so fast. When I am successful at a new hobby or a new thing I try, it really, really gives me like... <laughs> A motivation and serotonin boost. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm really excited. I'll keep you updated on everything. I really want to go out and like buy more plants and stuff. Um, right now I'm kind of like into vegetables. Like I want to grow some vegetables and eat them. Like that's my goal. But I think I'm going to focus on my little babies that I have right now and just kind of chill out. I mean, I'm in Florida, so I think that I can grow stuff pretty much all year round. I don't know. I also have like a little shady area where I can put stuff. So anyways, let me grab the simple panels and stuff that I need to custom because I know we will need quite a bit. I'll go do that and we shall come back and work on this hotel that I'm gonna do. All right, I'm back. I got everything customized as you can see. That took forever, but we're here. Let's go ahead and start with what I know for sure is gonna be included, which definitely is gonna be these plant partitions. I thought they were so cute. I gotta put custom designs first. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to put items down first. That's a no-no, Raven. I definitely wanna do a tile of some sort. I think I'm gonna do the brown one just because the rest of the items I have are white. So I don't want it to be too white. I want to have some color here, you know? All right, so the plant partitions are first. These are going to be in front of everything. Next, we have the simple panels, and these are going to be the little hotel windows. I got this really cute custom design. I thought it was adorable, so we're going to do a whole bunch of these. That already looks cute. That already looks so cute, and we're going to add more to this, trust me. Let's make it taller. I want it to be kind of like a bigger hotel, so we're going to add some height to these. I was thinking I'll try to do some layers. We're going to put some cliffs up. Don't panic, but we are going to do some cliffs. Just don't panic on me. It's fine. It's going to be all right. We got this. We're in this together. <laughs> I need a ladder to get up these cliffs, but I, I don't know where my ladder is. And like, how do you lose a ladder? I have no idea. It's not in here. Like, what happened to it? I lost it so long ago and I just don't know what happened to it. Let me just craft one, honestly. L let me craft like five because apparently I'm losing ladders left and right here. Okay, I literally made three ladders. I better not lose these. I better not freaking lose these. I should never be without a ladder again. Ah, uh, having a ladder. It feels great feels great. I'm gonna go ahead and stick some of this tile up here just to make this all look a little more cohesive and we will use the white one just to match the simple panels. That looks so good. I'm so excited about this and uh, we'll continue with the simple panels and we're gonna make like a little bit of a taller hotel, you know, I'm gonna stack this up nicely. I think after I finish recording, I'm gonna go have a really nice ice cream sundae and it's gonna be very delicious. I've got some Neapolitan ice cream in the fridge. I just got this brown brittle stuff that's really good actually it's more of like a crunchy thing it's not like a soft chewy brownie so if you're into like crunchy brownies which honestly i'm not too much but the brownie brittle is pretty good i like i like the crunch i like the crunch even though i am anti corner pieces for brownies like actual brownies 
It's middle piece or bust and I don't want to hear it from corner piece people. It's objectively the the worst brownie piece, okay? Middle piece all the way. Brownie brittle is different. I, I just do want to clarify that. It's, it's a different vibe. I feel like it's a spectrum, you know? Like brownie brittle is like the crispiest of the crispy brownie and then we have corner pieces right in the middle and then we have like a normal actual good piece of brownie which is the middle piece. So, you know, if I want to go full soft brownie, I go middle piece of brownie. If I want to go crispy brownie, I just go brownie brittle because why would I go in the weird like in between that it's like a half and half mix, you know? It's just it's just not my vibe. Anyways, let me stop offending uh corner piece brownie enthusiasts and let's take a look at this hotel. That looks really cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, but what do we think of putting a wide display stand and this little pillar here to kind of like thicken it up a little bit and kind of like hide these cliff edges? I think it looks good. I like it. Okay, let's let's do that. First, actually, let's continue with the tile. That's probably a smart move. You know, I'm reflecting right now and I feel a little bad about what I said about corner brownie pieces. I'm sorry. If you like corner brownie pieces, I, like, I respect you. I respect you like you're wrong but i respect you and i hope that you enjoy your corner brownie pieces and you know what you you objectively get more like you objectively get more than like a middle piece person like me and uh, i'm just gonna conclude with uh i'm sorry again and I hope we can all eat brownies in peace. Okay, thank you. You know, I'm thinking I also could put wide display stands behind these simple panels up on the top to make it look a little more building-y or I could put something up there. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I tried a couple things and I think what looks the best are the loft beds, even though that kind of gives it more of like an apartment feel. Like, I don't know, is, is that just me? This doesn't really feel like hotel, but honestly, I don't really care what this is. It could be a hotel, it could be apartment, it could be townhouses. I don't care, but all of those have a pool. All of those can have a pool. So that's all that matters. Call it whatever, whatever you want, but we're still putting the pool here. But anyways, the loft beds look the best to me. And that's so funny because at one point on Leapfrog, I actually built a little city behind the plaza and it was a little kid core city and I used the loft beds as well with simple panels. So it feels like I'm kind of doing the same thing again, but I'll be honest, I think this time it looks a lot better <laughs> because I ended up changing that a uh, little kid core city later anyways so it did not survive long but uh, i need two more for this other side so i'm gonna go ahead and order those and time travel just very quickly i had my mailbox in my inventory and i just needed somewhere to place it and i just put it down here and actually that's that's really cute i actually think i'm just gonna leave it there because i don't know where else i'm putting my mailbox anyways let's grab our stuff i'm gonna have to deal with these flowers aren't i yeah, I probably will. This is gonna take up a lot more space than I thought. I need to be mindful. Miss Tangy. Missed. Ugh, whatever. I need to be a little bit mindful because I do want to put potentially a little Disney World back here. I'm really intimidated by that build. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I definitely want that to go somewhere back there. So I don't want to take up too much space, but... We need the pool, you know? We, we need the pool. I was also thinking like maybe a lazy river. Maybe that could be a little more well fitted to the space. I'm just gonna keep putting down tiles and see where we go from here. Here's some progress. We're getting there, we're getting there, but a pool definitely does not fit here yet. So I think I'm gonna go like all the way back kind of right here where the campsite ends which means yeah i have to i have to deal with some of these flowers but that's kind of the plan oh my goodness i love my past self for leaving this trash can here thank you <laughs> okay now i'm gonna go kill two birds with one stone we're gonna move the campsite and we're gonna time travel and hopefully get a little bit of sunnier weather here in game we're looking good i think i'm gonna try to start doing the lazy river and just kind of feel it out you know see see how it goes do we need to take it further do we do we not need to i don't really know i think i'll start it right here okay maybe we'll bring it down just a little bit because i want the lazy river to be like at least two tiles wide you know what i mean i don't know this feels kind of like thick you know what i mean i may actually just do one tile instead of two i think it'll be fine that way we can have like a bigger middle piece and we can do more of a spectacle it'll be great it'll be great here is the little shape i marked out uh i think it's fine i think it's fine so we have some space over here i i left for like lounge chairs and stuff like that 
and then we'll put something fun in the middle i'm excited now let me fix this up a little bit more because it looks a little bit boring right now we have some good pieces that will make this look even better for example this piece right here which will really give it the illusion of like this middle piece being in the middle of the water if that makes sense this shadow just really helps just just trust me just trust me okay we'll put like some little ripples and stuff like that and of course we got to do the little flowers we're looking good so far i think i am going to extend this just by one row because it looks kind of weird just having one little tile on the back of this so let me just fix this up quickly i'm gonna go grab some items from my storage and see what exactly we're gonna put here because actually i i don't really know i grabbed like beach chairs but that was pretty much it okay i just had an idea you need to hear me out and we need to try this. Okay, okay. What if we put a waterfall in the middle of this? And that way I can also include a palm tree because I'm really missing some vertical height here. What if we just did it? What a concept. What a concept. <laughs> this is either a very fancy apartment complex or a very fancy hotel. So maybe, maybe they have stuff like that, you know? You know what? Actually, I don't think we have a big enough spot to do like a super big waterfall i think we can just have like one measly waterfall oh no no just one measly waterfall <laughs> that's that's so sad i mean it's cute right it's cute <laughs> i think let's try it anyways because i really do love the idea of putting a palm tree here and that's just me though oh my god it's so perfect okay we have to do it we have to do it and that way i can also put a flower somewhere here because you know what i feel like i just don't even put flowers anywhere and i i really should put flowers okay first of all i'm thinking a frock right on the edge and then we do this little flamingo because he's kind of tall and that way we have some some tall stuff going on over on the corner and then we do the red mom okay okay and what do we want on the very edge anything our heart desires anything our heart desires a surfboard it's cute but it doesn't really make any sense and no now i'm gonna have to pick these flowers dang it i'm so sorry i'm so sorry okay i'm gonna have to find a different item to put there because i don't really have anything right now i've got a little shell partition which is so perfect because i had no idea where this was gonna go but i was like oh that's kind of cute so this will go right behind the palm tree. I think the orange hyacinths would be good right here. And I don't know what I'm doing with these two spots right here. I think, you know, let me let me move on to something else while I think about that. I've got like the floaties and stuff that I want to put down. So I'll kind of use those to hide like these seams over here from this shadow piece, you know? And then for beach chairs, I did grab these. And I like these because they're nice and colorful. And I don't know, I just kind of want like a nice colorful vibe for this island in general. So we're gonna do these. Okay, another idea has just struck me. Party lights right behind this, yes. <laughs> yes. I think I can actually squeeze in two if I scooch this over, question mark. Oh, <laughs> oh yes I can. Amazing, incredible, show-stopping, 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm loving how this is looking, but the lack of walls is really killing me. I don't necessarily want to deal with that right now though, but like it's kind of killing the vibe for me, so I don't know. Let me see what I got. All right, here's what I got, people. Bookshelves. I think that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Oh man, I have to move more freaking flowers. Ah. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the wooden bookshelves. That's kind of where we're at. And I was experimenting over here. And what do we think about this kind of setup? Pretend they all have the bamboo, right? Because I was like, okay, just plain, plain wall. I can't do that. Like that's that's not in my programming. I cannot do that. So we're gonna have some color with some bamboo, and it's very minimal. You know, it doesn't take up too much space. And then I was like, well, I don't want to do just bookshelves shelf walls all the way around and make it feel so enclosed like it feels kind of suffocating you know this should be a nice open lazy river area so i was thinking we can use these school lockers and they can still be dividers but not as big and tall as the bookshelves you know i do want the bookshelves back here because i want to block the view of the castle just a little bit which will probably be back here the the cinderella's castle slash disney world so i need something tall for that but for the other sides i think it could be the little little thingies little guys little lockers so yeah i'll grab more bamboo partitions and try to see what other items i'm gonna put in that middle area okay i think we're going with a shell lamp up here that that feels good that feels good i'm just gonna just decide on that before i change my mind and we also have to have a kuropi snack somewhere so he's gonna go right there i just don't know what to put in this little spa right here 
I need to find like the perfect item. Nothing feels right. Nothing feels right. We're gonna leave that for now, but I went ahead and placed the rest of the bamboo and I think that looks really good. I really like it. I need to get some more of the lockers and stuff like that, but I was thinking it could be cute also to kind of like almost use them as like side tables, you know? Cause I actually don't even know if I'll end up putting any sort of side tables, but we could put like a little coconut juice and I got like a little book that we can put down, something like that, I don't know. But this isn't fully finished yet. I would say this is like 80% done, but it's great progress. I mean, this is a really big area that we did. I did not anticipate us doing all of this really. I definitely meant to put more items here, on the side but <laughs> just didn't get to it just did not get to it but yeah ignoring cj i really like how resident services looks really really good really nice i love the little buildings that we made super cute our little teeny tiny lazy river is it's doing its best you know it's doing its best so yeah we'll have to figure out you know how this is going to transition over here because the everglades is right here we've still got this weird path that goes from the plaza so more logistics to figure out, which will be so fun for future Raven. But that's not all we did. We also placed Lily and Tad's house and that's looking great. They've got their little very misshapen lily pad pond. I don't want to talk about it. And we've got the little restaurant over here. So that's looking cute. And the island has been filled in that much more. So I'm very happy with our progress. I'm so sleepy. I think I was recording slash playing Animal Crossing for five hours because I started at nine and it's 2 a.m. I don't know, something like four or five hours. So if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos just like this one, I have a whole playlist for this island that we've been working on if you want to catch up. But yeah, I think I'm going to go have some 2 a.m. ice cream. It'll be great. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.